Royal Bournemouth Hospital, we are now able to offer our prostate cancer patients the next generation of cancer surgery, thanks to our new surgical robot. We put the robot on display here in the atrium of the hospital so our patients, the public and staff can find out about all the many benefits it will bring. So what we're doing today is showing off uh, our new Da Vinci robot system. Uh, the Trust acquired this robot a couple of months ago uh, and we're delighted to be able to bring this technology to Royal Bournemouth Hospital. It's the first robot of its kind in Dorset. To start with, we'll be using this to help us treat men with early prostate cancer and it's going to replace what we've been doing up until now, which is keyhole surgery. Uh, and we'll now be using this robotic device, which the surgeon controls from the console and then the console controls the instruments which are inside the patient. This pedal is the camera pedal and the surgeon by moving the instruments in and out can control camera position and zoom. And then by swapping uh, to this side pedal, we pick up the third instrument, which can be used as a grasper or retractor. And then the blue and yellow pedals apply either cautery to seal blood vessels or a cutting electric current to divide tissue. And this device has a number of advantages over and above what we've been able to do up until now. It enables us to see inside the patient in 3D and it gives us very precise control of the instruments which have um, much greater degrees of movement than the instruments we've been using for keyhole surgery up until now. So each of the camera arms uh, can hold uh, various instruments. These are removed and you can replace them with scissors or uh, a needle holder. They're then placed back in the instrument, which is then placed back into the patient. This is the camera arm, which controls the camera, and the other three control either the grasper straight retractor, two needle holders, or scissors. So here you can see the real advantages of this kind of equipment. The instruments have many degrees of freedom, so the tips of the instruments can rotate, bend, jaws can open and close, and that range of movement gives the surgeon great dexterity within, within the patient. So these instruments are the, as close as you can get to um, the movement of a human hand, um, but obviously making incisions which are much smaller than those required for open surgery. So we get all the advantages of open surgery in terms of quality of vision and the 3D view and dexterity, but none of the disadvantages of open surgery in terms of large incisions. And this combination gives the patient a really accurate operation, but hopefully a speedy recovery and a rapid return to, to normal activity. So the surgeon has a 3D view in the console. In theatre, there's a 2D screen here, uh, which is touch screen. So you can highlight areas uh, if you wanted to particularly point out to the surgeon. This is view on their console as well. Uh, point out areas to avoid or perhaps uh, cut if you're training uh, one of uh, training another surgeon. The Royal Bournemouth Hospital is the first hospital in Dorset to be able to offer patients this type of surgery. Philip Wilson had the procedure here just four weeks ago. He came in to tell us all about his experience. It's been a good experience really. I had the surgery. I was up and walking within 24 hours. Um, came home uh, about three days later. Uh, would have been sooner if I didn't have a minor complication with my lungs um, and back to work yesterday so four weeks down the road um, back to normal really. If you read the pamphlet it says six to eight weeks um, maybe longer with normal surgery so I've um, well I've, I've had no pain I've got a little bit of bruising and that's it um, good experience uh, considering. The robot is good for the surgery that I, that I needed it needs to be precise so you know it's a non-brainer really just simply thank you you know an amazing job um, that you know the hospital as, as a whole, the, the staff, the nursing, everything's been amazing. Um, yeah, so I've had a, a very good experience.